Do you want to sell your coins, paper money, notes, valuable bills and stamps online? You can publish your ads for free on our website, thecoines.com. For mobile users it's much easier publishing coin ads using our Coines app. Hey everyone! The 1918D is a common date in the Lincoln Cent series, though its mintage is well below that of the ultra-common dates such as the 1918P. Collectors may choose between brown, red-brown, and red examples, of which there is a sufficient supply to meet most demand. According to Ron Guff the key aspect of this date is the strike quality. At Denver, dyes were used even after they became worn, thus many 1918D cents have mushy details or surface granularity. When seeking out a 1918D cent, look for examples with a crisp strike and hard, lustrous surfaces. As with all Lincoln scents, shy away from overly spotted examples or those with unattractive toning. This red example in Mint State 66 Plus Red ended up selling for $53,859.38 including buyer's fee at Great Collections Auction. Here is 1947's Jefferson Nickel in Mint State 67 with full steps. Despite a good mintage of 24,720,000 the majority of these went right into circulation, where many still remain. Add to this a notoriously weak strike, a superb gem like this is a real prize for the advanced collector. Highly lustrous surfaces have a rich, nickel-gray coloration with gold and sky-blue accents at the rims. The eye appeal is unmarred by any serious marks, indeed all you see with a magnifying glass are dye lines that are mint-made. The eye appeal is excellent. Sold for $9,400 at Legend Rare Coin Auctions. The 1970D Kennedy Half Dollar is the key to the Circulation Strike series. At the time, examples could only be obtained from one of the 2.1 million mint sets distributed to collectors. The date is very rare at this impressive grade level, surprising for an issue that remained outside the channels of commerce. Blazing mint luster radiates over brilliant and virtually mark-free surfaces. Thin dye polish lines appear in the fields, and a tiny S-shaped lint mark occurs on the jawline. It ended up selling for $4,935 at Heritage Auctions. Here is 2009P Presidential Dollar featuring William Henry Harrison on obverse. Position A Variant the 2009p presidential dollar William Henry Harrison coin is a part of the presidential dollar series, which was minted from 2007 to 2016. It is the ninth coin in the series and was released on February 19, 2009. There are two varieties of the coin, position A and position B. The position A variety has the inscriptions on the coin's edge printed upside down, while the position B variety has the inscriptions right side up. These varieties were created to prevent counterfeiting, as it is difficult to mint coins with upside-down text. This gem in Mint State 68 was bargained for $4,275 with buyer's fee at Great Collection Auction. This is 1893 Morgan Dollar in Mint State 65. A better date Morgan Dollar that is quite scarce in the GM grades. A bold, rolling cartwheel luster blooms on both sides with a sharp strike. Mostly a bold cartwheel luster with accents of PL reflectivity. A swath of golden tone can be seen on the obverse and the reverse is fully frosted. Miss Liberty's cheek is smooth and fully frosted with no breaks in the frost. The eye appeal is very nice. It was sold for $4,935 at Legend Rare Coin Auctions. And here is 1939, Lincoln Center with double die obverse. Red Brown Penny in MS64 Red and Brown Condition Under close inspection you can spot dye doubling on lettering Liberty. This particular error is classified as FS107, which refers to the Cherry Picker's Guide to Rare Dye Varieties of United States Coins, a reference book that categorizes dye varieties of coins. The 1939 Lincoln Center Double Dye Obverse FS107 is a highly sought-after coin by collectors due to its rarity and unique appearance. It is estimated that only a few hundred of these coins exist in varying degrees of condition. Sold for $242, including buyer's fee at Great Collections Auction. Thanks for watching guys. If you have rare coins you can post them for sale on our website, thecoines.com. 
Don't forget to hit the like button. Have a nice day.